Hello, everyone. Uh, my name is Mustafa. Uh, I hope you are doing well. Uh, today, we are going to talk about uh, how nuclear energy affects uh, humanity. Uh, in this presentation, we are going to discuss uh, an introduction to nuclear energy. Uh, what do we mean by nuclear? Uh, the benefits of using nuclear energy. What nuclear energy can do if uh, used wrong? The long and short term effects. Uh, what can we do to prevent uh, or to protect ourselves from the nuclear energy? And then uh, a conclusion in the end. Uh, to start, uh, uh, before we start, I need. Uh, do, did you know that a single nuclear bomb can kill over a hundred thousand people just on the impact? Yeah, that, that's yeah, that's a big number. Uh, so uh, before we start our presentation, we need to to uh, to understand what 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 the word nuclear means. Uh, nuclear by definition means using the power produced when the nucleus of an atom is divided or added to another nucleus. Uh, with that out of the way. Uh, I am going to talk about the discovery of radioactivity. Uh, the discovery of radioactivity could uh, be divided into two parts. The first part is when Dr. Rent, uh, Rent, Rent Trunk, Rent Trunk uh, discovered X-rays in the year 1895. Uh, uh, and he received the Nobel Prize in the year 1901 for the discovery of X-rays. After one year, Dr. Anton Henry continued, uh, the re continued the research on the X-rays to discover by accident uh, radioactivity in the year 1896 uh, and received a Nobel Prize uh, for the discovery of uh, radioactivity. After that, I am going to talk about how people used uh, uh, nuclear energy wrong the history of nuclear weapons. Uh, we could say that the first uh, nuclear bombing was uh, in New Mexico. It was a testing done by, by the US. After a less than a month, uh, the US dropped the first uh, atomic bomb on uh, Hiroshima, uh, nearly, ki uh, nearly killing more than 130,000 people. Three days later, they dropped, uh, they dropped another bomb on Nagasaki. Uh, killing 80,000 people on impact, uh, and uh, another 80,000 people died from uh, after the after effect of the nuclear bomb. Uh, the second thing I want to talk about is uh, nuclear energy uh, and uh, how it's better than regular uh, energy. Uh, bef before I start this, uh, we need to understand what is nuclear energy. Uh, nuclear energy is uh, the energy produced when the when splitting when the atoms of a certain element splits, producing uh, energy. Nuclear energy better than uh, normal energy. Well, first of all, uh, nuclear energy is clean. Uh, and uh, cost efficient, yeah. Uh, the, it, and the, the cost may be high in the first, in the start, because of the power plant. But after that, the, it's very cost efficient. Uh, some people could argue that is uh, that it is a renewable uh, source of energy. Uh, it produces, uh, uh, I think, a lot more than uh, the power. Uh, normal power plant, and it has uh, zero effects on the environment. Uh, I think I've finished. Uh, my friend Hatem is going to continue. Thanks, Mustafa. So such dilemma have led to major catastrophes uh, known since mankind. Some of them are uh, Three Mile Island, Chernobyl, Hiroshima and Nagasaki, and Taka Takayamura. First of all, Three Miles Island. Uh, next slide. Uh, this major disaster took a place in 
بنسلفانيا ات 1979 امال امال فانكشن ذا كولنج ليفينج نو effects or injuries. Few gases were exposed to the surrounding, but they were not enough to reach, to reach the towns and cities. Secondly, Chernobyl. Chernobyl took place in Ukraine at 1986 and has been one of the, one of the famous and biggest nuclear bombs in the history of nuclear power generations. According to some studies, this incident made the Belarus government to spend around 258 million dollars to cover the 22% land losses as well as other sort of losses. Uh, moving on to uh, Hiroshima and Nagasaki. This took place in Japan at, 19, uh, at 1945. This incident caused the death of almost 80,000 citizens. 80,000 citizens. The time interval between the two bombs on Hiroshima and Nagasaki was, was three days. Finally, Tukaimura. If I'm correct, uh, due to uncontrolled nuclear fission in Japan at 1999, the explosion caused the least amount of death by leaving 667 non-fatal injuries. Eventually, these disasters affect the whole globe worldwide through short-term effects and long-term effects. But which one is more important? After handling a survey out of 79 responses. 76.9% voted for the equal import, uh, important, importance and, uh, and the harm that, the, that both effects, that both, that both short term effects and long term effects do in the environment, while 19.2% voted for long term and the other 3.8% voted for short term. Let's see. Short term effects. Short term effects are limited to leading to evacuation, causing people to leaving uh, to leave their safe houses, their place, as well inhabitants as uh, it inhabitants' health due to the exposure to, uh, to dangerous smoke and chemicals as a result of the incident. Moving on to long-term effects, uh, slide. Uh, yes, thank you. Uh, moving on to long-term effects. The vast damage happens to the, to the nature world and world and to, uh, to the nature world and wildlife, causing animals to extinct and die due to having due to leaving their own environment. Finally, the mass destruction that happens on a high level due to, due to explosion wave that takes place and causing farms and cities to collapse and take a ride. Uh, we also carried our survey. Uh, which where we ask on a scale from one to five, five being the highest, which is um, the the dangerous thing. How much damage do you think nuclear weapons cause? Actually, we got uh, one point three percent of the seventy nine uh, of the seventy nine responses, uh, equating one person said that three uh, is an average thing, while eleven point four percent of the seventy nine responses uh, reacted that four out of five. Uh, this is how dangerous the nuclear weapons are. And now I'm going to uh, let my teammate Abdurrahman Ayman to discuss the measures that should be taken in order to avoid the damage and avoid the use of nuclear weapons. Okay, thank you, Hazem. Now that we talked about the short and long-term effects, we're going to talk about the measures we need to take in order for us to achieve disarm the nuclear disarmament. The thing is, we're not talking about just banning these weapons. We're talking about actually the, the total disarmament. You know, we're not just talking about uh, this allowing uh, governments to uh, or countries to use these weapons. We're talking about actually getting rid of them, throwing them away. So, uh, and, and I'm mentioning this because we uh, there are already institutions that ban using weapons uh, to a great extent. The thing is, we're not sure whether uh, there will be a next or when will be a next uh, when there will be a next uh, Hitler or Stalin, and therefore we have to take the measures necessary to avoid any sort of warmongering in the near future. The first thing that we need to do is make proper United Nations institutions. Uh, the United Nations institution, with no doubt, is the main foundation or the main entity that uh, supervises all the peace treaties around the world and, uh, and tries its best to avoid any sort of warmongering or any sort of uh, conflicts. The, the thing is that nuclear weapons are always used whenever they're conflict, but we have to make sure that whenever there is conflict and there is 
no, no doubt there will be conflicts in the near future. Uh, we have to uh, we have to accept these conflicts for what they are, but we have to limit or restrict how countries can behave in these uh, in these sort of uh, hard times. So uh, we need to make sure that when whenever there is a, a, a war happening or occurring, that there are no available weapons for anyone to use. So if there were to, for a country to to uh, to neglect the laws of the or the institutions made by non nations. They wouldn't have actually ready to use weapons at the, at, at the reach of their hand. The next thing that we need to do uh, is definitely stop the or seize the nuclear uh, material extraction. The thing is, such like Chernobyl or Takurama, if I'm saying it correctly, excuse me, uh, these sort of incidents were not, because, uh, were not caused by using atomic bombing or nuclear bombs. They were used because of the extraction of the nuclear material itself. So uh, the thing is, we have to make sure that um, that there are not really uh, that plenty of, uh, of uh, extraction sites, if at all. The thing is, is um, we, we, the, the, these sort of incidents cause extreme damage. Chernobyl is, as mentioned earlier by Hazem, is one of the, dev the most devastating uh, incidents that happened in humankind on a nuclear level. So uh, we, ha we have to stop uh, using nuclear materials. Now, I know that people would say, Why are, what are you talking about? We cannot neglect or we cannot throw away nuclear uh, material. This, this can be used for other beneficial things, like, for example, uh, energy, uh, uh, energy usage or energy production, excuse me. Uh, and, and that nuclear material is definitely uh, one of the main sources of energy. Well, despite that this is true, and despite that actually it is true that the nuclear energy, uh, ha the nuclear energy is very powerful and produces a lot of uh, energy source, there are a lot of other alternatives. The alternatives are, for example, thor thorium, uh, thorium, excuse me. Thorium is a very, very low uh, or very light or uh, weak, radio has light radioactivity. It's not really that radioactive. We have also solar power. We can actually uh, use the sun, the, the, the beautiful nature, to uh, to get our to get the energy we need. We have natural gas, one of the sources we can use uh, as an alternative to to nuclear energy, and we have hydrogen. Uh, these, I know that not all of these got the same energy, or not even close to the energy of nuclear weapon or nuclear material. Excuse me, gas, but uh, with the with the proper combination and a, and a proper strategy, we can actually neglect or we can actually instead of mainly focus or mainly depend on the nuclear energy we can depend on other sources or other type of energies that will yield us the same sort of uh, output that we need we actually made from the survey or we actually uh, concluded from the survey that people actually do believe that we can neglect uh, uh, nuclear material or and, and prosper and evolve without really using it uh, as mentioned more than 50% of people actually stated that they do believe that we can actually prosper uh, without the, or definitely prosper without the use of nuclear material. And, and, the, and like quarter of those people around, of course, uh, said that maybe we can actually, we, we can do a, some sort of strategy that may actually help us succeed and prosper without the use of nuclear material. Very few people, or we can say one in five people said that, no, it's not possible. But the majority believe that it, it is possible. And people definitely, uh, from the survey, we conclude we conclude that the people or people actually forbid uh, or are supporting the forbidding of nuclear weapons. Uh, around uh, three quarters of people actually say so. So to conclude, we've talked about the history of nuclear weapons and how nuclear weapons came around in the first place, and nuclear material even how we discovered the nuclear material that we have on Earth. We talked about the benefits. Definitely anything has its pros and cons. There's no such thing as just full of damage and nothing else. Definitely uh, there are benefits for, um, for nuclear material and the usage of nuclear material. And we talked about the catastrophe effects afterwards, right, immediately to showcase that, yes, there are benefits, but they're not even close to, uh, to, to, to outweighing or uh, to, to make us uh, forget the, the, the devastating damage that these sort of nuclear materials and nuclear weapons cause. There are a lot of catastrophes, and they are so damaging that some of them, some of the, some of them, still have uh, long-term effects uh, on people and, and this area that it uh, it happened at or occurred at till today. And we talked about the measures necessary. We talked about what we need to do, and that actually there are alternatives, and that actually from the surveys we, we 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 put out for people, 
we conclude that actually people do believe that we can actually prosper and evolve without the use of nuclear materials. We can actually use alternatives and use different types of source of energy to get what we need and get even the same output. But it needs a little strategy, I know, but we're, we're not depending on the nuclear material. We don't need to really have it around every, every day and now, every now and then. And the most important thing is the future. We need to focus on what we can provide for the next generations. We talk about the cash free, the benefits, the blah, blah, the yada, yada, but then we have the future. We, have, we need to focus on, yes, maybe now it's not a dangerous thing, but when people increase in numbers or the population increases, when there are, there'll be more conflicts, there will be more advanced weaponry and there will be advanced nuclear weapons and they may have more damage than we can possibly imagine. So from today, we have to see ahead of us that these sort of nuclear weapons, if they stay or if they, if they uh, prevail till that time, whenever that is, they can have so many, so many devastating results and consequences. Any questions? Now, I know this is a video, so please, if you have any questions, do comment down below. We'll be happy to help. And these are the references in case you want to search more. Thank you.